everyone thank you so much for joining me today today i will be unboxing and reviewing alpha blend in the brand new color from beltras tres leche alpha blend in tres leche was sent to me from wig studio one so i could review it for the wig studio one channel but i thought i would open it up on my channel unbox it and we'll take a look at it together I'm actually going to do a comparison on how it looks on a curly style and a straight style for Wig Studio One. Well, after that video goes up, I'll go ahead and I'll list it down here. Or if you're not subscribed to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel, please hop on over there and subscribe to their channel because we have our regular reviewers plus we have the guest reviewers and that way you could see styles even if it's the same style same color different face shapes different reviewers and different skin tones so i think that's always helpful when we're looking for a certain style or we're looking for a certain color it's, and that way it i think it really helps you decide if that is a style or a color that you may want to have you know i love alpha blend i have reviewed it before but my review was i think it was brown sugar sweet cream and in ice lavender latte very excited to get this beautiful style in this color if you're not familiar with tres leche it translates to three milks and it actually comes from a dessert i i'm not sure the country of origin I know that it's it's very popular in Spain, it's popular in the Caribbean, and it's also popular in the Latin American countries. And Tres Leche dessert is uh, called Three Milks because uh, it's a pound cake, which is once it's cooled down, there's condensed milk, cow's milk, and evaporated milk that is poured onto the pound cake topped with whipped cream and um, refrigerated oh my gosh it is loaded with calories loaded with sugar but it is so good it's one of my favorite desserts when i saw the color tres leche because it does mean three milks i was expecting it to be a uh, on the on a blonde and here it is oh my gosh absolutely gorgeous i contacted one of the personal hair consultants in order to get the color code and she said it's 10 16 88 r8 is what they told me and i could believe that we do have three blondes here we do have three blondes we have a honey blonde and we have uh, a little bit of a golden blonde and we have some ash blonde very very well blended so this color is absolutely gorgeous we have a root of eight when i when i looked on bell tress i i wanted to get the their color description as well i always like to say what is their color description and then we'll let you know what i see their color description states that it's a light medium and dark brown blended i don't know if i agree with that don't i i'm not sure it does the brunette does go through through the um through the base of the wig and then we have these we have a lace front what's really nice about alpha blend is that the um, part is a nice generous part and it goes all the way to the crown. We have felt covered ear tabs, a non-extended nape, and pull type adjusters. Bell Tress runs on the larger end of average. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and they usually fit me a little large. If you have, if your size is average, average large, I think that you will not have any problems with Bell Tress. And that is just my experience based on all of the bell tress that I have. I'm not feeling any permatease, lots and lots of stretch. Alpha Blend does weigh 5.4 ounces. While we don't have any permatease, I would say the density is average and leading a little bit higher than just on the, on the higher end of average as well. 
This video is primarily about the color. I will leave my reviews on Alpha Blend listed down below in case you want to see styling or anything like that. There are lots of reviews on Alpha Blend, so I, I just really wanted to show you Tres Leche. I also thought that if you're a brunette, as I am, you might want to see what it looks like on a medium skin tone. My undertones are olive, basically an olive neutral, and that's why I... I can probably get away with a lot of colors. I definitely see some honey blonde in there. And I see a little bit of gold, golden blonde, not too much. If it had too much golden blonde, I wouldn't be able to, to wear it. And we have the ash blonde. So there is a beautiful blend of these three blondes, which is, it's really what I was expecting based on the color uh, name. Feltress just does such an incredible job with their colors. All right, is it warm? I know your questions. Is it warm, Marlene? Is it cool? Is it neutral? What is it? I would say it's a neutral blonde based on the honey and the gold that is added, that is blended in. Definitely a, I would definitely say it's a neutral color. We do have the ashier colors uh, framing the face. I think it'll work very well with many skin tones. If you want to add that lift, you can uh, use a blow dryer. These are heat friendly fibers. So you could use your blow dryer, just add a little bit of, of heat there. And that usually does the trick. Now I'm going to give you my opinion about this color. If you want to hear my opinion, I think the shading, the rooting is done beautifully. It's not stark. It's a beautiful, um, I would say it's a golden brown and it just blends beautifully throughout. Very nicely, nicely done. And it, it, melts right into with the blonde without adding any any brunette blended in with the with the blonde i think it's a great color if you're looking for a summer piece if you personally i love it i love the dimension it has i love the blend of the three blondes and i love how beautifully done that root is so those are those are my two cents worth all right, let's take a walk outside so you can see Tres Leche out in the daylight. I'll try, if there's any sun, I'll try to show it to you in the sunlight as well as in the shade. And then I'll come back. Thank you everyone i appreciate you stopping by and spending this time with me please let me know what you think about tres leche and let me know if you've ever had the dessert tres leche i would love to hear from you i hope everyone is having a fantastic day and i will see you next time bye